Hey, get ready with me for my 23rd birthday. So I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match in N3, putting this all over my face and then blending it out with my beauty blender. I'm taking my NYX concealer in CW02, I believe, and I am putting that under my eyes in a triangle formation, and then I will also be blending that out with my beauty blender. Now I'm taking one of the highlight shades, shades in the Kat Von D palette, and I am putting a lot of that under my eyes to kind of bake. It didn't really work properly, but yeah, just putting that all under my eyes and on my chin as well, just to set everything. And then I'm taking this Lee's Watier con uh, contour stick and I'm gonna contour my face. I really like this stick, it's really great. Then I'm blending out that contour with my beauty blender, obviously. It's time for fake lashes, so I'm just taking this Ardell lash glue and it's like a brush form and I'm putting it on my actual eyes. I find it way easier to put lashes on like this. Uh, if you have a tube of lash glue, you can just put it on a little brush and then put it on your eyes as well. And then I'm taking the Ardell Wispies and that is my lashes for tonight. <laughs> kind of lid shade and putting that on my lid and then I'm taking a brown color from the Kat Von D shade light palette and I'm just putting that in the crease uh, this I just did, did like a really natural eye and then I took a little bit of a darker redder readier shade and put it in the outer corner Taking one of my favorite highlights, Q Jump by Rimmel, and just putting that in the inner corner and a little bit along the lower lash line to make my eyes bright. And then I am putting um, the darker colors on the outer portion of my eye to kind of bring the look together. Uh, and then I'm taking a liquid liner and just kind of blending the lashes together. I mean, I didn't really want to do a liquid liner, but I kind of had no choice. And now I'm just setting the contour with the Kat Von D contour palette and just setting all the cream contour that I did. And then I'm taking this NYX sparkly bronzer and putting that on my face and then also kind of taking off the baking that really didn't work. <laughs> this lighting was really weird so I kept feeling like my face was not right so I just put some highlight on my nose and forehead to add a little bit more dimension to the look. And then I'm taking my Maybelline Dream Bouncy blush on a stippling brush and using that as my blush. Then I'm taking this massive fluffy brush and blending everything out so it looks, you know, kind of natural but it isn't. And then I'm taking a Galactic uh, highlight and putting that on the high points of my face, down my nose, on my cupid's bow, on my brow bone. Oh, hi Kendra. Watte brow like gel sort of thing um, and putting that on my eyebrows to kind of fill them in, kind of keep them down. I don't really need a full filler look at my eyebrows, they're crazy. And then I'm just cleaning them up, making them look perfect. 
Then on the other end of that eyebrow thing, there's like a highlight. So I'm just putting that on the top and outlining my eyebrows. And that will make them look really clean, blending that out. And then I put mascara on and whipped caviar by NYX on my lips. I was about to die, so I did this quickly, but my boots are Steve Madden from shimmy.com. My dress is Free People. I'm obsessed with this dress. Bobble Bar, Fifth, Lokai, Rings Are Random. My necklaces are Mob and Monster, amazing brand.